Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are doing my wardrobe. We are cleaning it out and getting right in there. Me and my boyfriend moved in last year and we haven't had like a clear out since then. So I think it needs doing. You guys actually voted for this video over on my Instagram because this week's video went a little bit wrong. I will explain in the video, but I panicked and the other day I was like, what do you guys want to see? And you all said a wardrobe clear out. So that is what we're doing. We are in my wardrobe room. We have lots to get on with, but first make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free and that means you won't miss a video every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. So make sure you're subscribed and let's get into it. If you can see a red mark on my chest, by the way, it's because I've just like scratched my chest. It looks really, really red in the viewfinder. But anyway, first things first, whilst I chat to you, I'm actually just going to put the washing away. I always leave the washing in here just because it's a good room to put the washing dryer thing in. So how have you all been? Let me know in the comments what you have been up to. I'm not going to go too much into this wardrobe by the way because it is my boyfriend's wardrobe and I don't know how he likes to organise things so he can do that another time. So I'm just going to put his clothes away and that's all you're going to see for in here. But yeah, this week's video was meant to be a drive with me and I thought we could go and get like a Starbucks, we can go get some food and I was planning to do that last night. However, I realised I didn't have a dash cam like to hold my camera. So I ordered one off Amazon and I went to install it in my car. It didn't work. It didn't work. The angle wasn't right so like my camera wouldn't sit right and then I finally figured that out and then I was like sticking it on and I was pressing it and I thought it was going to be like an adhesive so I peeled the sticker off and I like pressed it on the dashboard. It wasn't sticky. It wasn't sticky. So that was super duper annoying. Um, I've returned it because it just wasn't suitable for the job. But that meant I didn't have a video lined up for this week. So I was like in panic mode. You guys know I upload every single Wednesday without fail. I've not missed a video in 2024. And in 2023, I actually only missed four videos out of the whole year. And two of them were because I got burgled. Uh, me and my boyfriend got burgled in this house actually. I'm on a pretty good run and I was like, I'm not going to let this stop me from uploading on my channel. I basically think what I'm going to do is take everything out. I'm going to go through my clothes and I'm going to put them back in, reorganise them and throw anything away that I don't want. I think I'm going to make like a vintage pile and then like a charity pile. And this mirrored door, I'm actually scared to open. <laughs> it's bad in there. So... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's take down this. This thing is like super duper handy. It dries so much washing. It's like so efficient, but it's a bitch to store. Like where are you storing this? I didn't realize when I ordered this, it was gonna be this tall. I just always store it in another room. So I'm gonna pop this away and then we'll actually get started on the wardrobe. I might also light a candle. I think, yeah, there's a candle on the windowsill. So I'm gonna light that as well. Get in the mood. I'm hoping that's not going to be too annoying because it's one of them crappy ones that goes. So hopefully you can't hear that. I don't know if to start on the smaller wardrobe or the bigger wardrobe. Maybe I should get the big one out of the way. I'm going to give you a quick tour. So this is the room. Very, very lucky to have a wardrobe room, first of all. But we just made this bit into like a kind of mirrored cove where you can like check what you're wearing before you go out and um, we have like a little stool I love having candles in like literally every single room so there has to be a candle in here and then when you turn around it's like an L shape so you've got this wardrobe here which we have coats and everything for this is Corey's wardrobe I take up most of this but when we got it we actually said it was going to be shared <laughs> and then this is my wardrobe here we also have boxes on top just for general storage there's not really much in there just kind of crafts and like bits and bobs and then the door goes out that way you can see my tripod there and this I think we are going to either put on this wall with like a nice picture of me and Corey or we might put it on this wall behind me here but then I kind of like it plain, like just to take pictures of your outfits and stuff, like I don't know. So I don't know if to put it there or on the other wall. Let me know what you guys think. So my wardrobe behind me, you can see it in all its glory here. So I have tops on the top 
Um, I've done it in colour coordination. I mean, I did. It's not really in it now. Um, it kind of got a bit like jumbled here. So this is tops kind of colour coordinated. And then on the bottom we have bottoms. Um, just trousers to be honest. There's no skirts or anything like that. There's a couple of pairs of leggings, but like these are all trousers. Again, kind of colour coordinated, kind of not. And then these were all really nice. I don't know if you can see them. I don't think you can. My heels are all at the bottom here and they were all really nicely like paired together. There was like a pair forwards, a pair backwards, forwards, backwards, and it was all really nice. And as you can see, now they're just like jumbled in, chucked in. So yeah, they need also sorting. So I think it's just gonna be easiest if I take a chunk out, oh, and then I put it back as I go, if I like it. And then I should theoretically end up with a pile that I don't want. That was kind of like the colorful section really. So then I'm gonna do, oh, like the whites, the nudes and the greys. Oh no, something's stuck. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Right, let's get stuck in. Yes, but it needs a wash. I didn't realise it had a massive stain on the front. Hopefully that comes out, but yes. No, doesn't fit. That's gonna go in the vintage pile. Um, I feel like this is a yes, but it's kind of a bit bobbly. I'm gonna give it another try and see how I get on. This time next year, if it's still there, not being worn, we'll get rid. I love this top, but I never know what to wear it with. No, let's be savage. Mm, yes. Yes. This looks so ugly on the hanger, but yes. Yes, classic Zara bodysuit. This is actually gonna be a no. It's like a Skims dupe from TikTok, but it's just really, really cropped and it doesn't really suit my body. So I might pop that in the vintage pile. Yes, this holds really good memories. Yeah, keep the gym. Don't judge me here. This is a work shirt, um, but I'm gonna, no, it's a no. My work style has developed. <laughs> okay, moving on to pinks and blues. This is a hot yes. I actually hauled this not too long ago. Like I literally got it, I don't know, a month ago. It was in my recent Zara haul. But I got a stain down it and then I put stain remover on it and it dyed it. So it's literally tie dye now. Super annoying, so I don't really know what to do. Maybe I'll just keep it as like an old top. It can even be like a painting top. So we'll keep her for now. This time next year we can reevaluate. I actually really like this shirt, but it's too small, so no. This is a fat no. Fat yes. Another fat yes. Another yes. Yes, holds good memories. This is gonna be a no. I think it's actually brand new, but it just doesn't suit me. It's so long and I'm petite, so it just looks weird on me. This is vintage. I found another green one hiding in there. So this is gonna be a yes. Cute little vest top for summer. One section done. Now we're onto the nudes and whites. Classic, yep. Yes, but it's gone a little bit bobbly. I only got this last year in October, but I'm gonna keep it for now. Yes, super cute, hardly worn. I sound like I'm selling on vintage. <laughs> so this is another one of those Skims dupes, which just doesn't fit me, it's from TikTok. They came in a pack of four, so there's another white one here, actually. I've literally never worn them in my life, so that is a no, and then I think there's another black one. Again, this is gonna be a no, because I just don't like the material of this. See ya. Yes, keep definitely chuck what in the granny is that <laughs> keeping cute oversized t-shirt yes 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 this is a skims dupe but this one actually fits me <laughs> probably the most special top i own this was my dad's yes recently bought this in manchester in my latest manchester vlog this is gonna be a no, it doesn't fit, it's absolutely massive. It's actually from TU in Sainsbury's. And I got it with this matching cardigan. I think that's what made me buy it. So this cardigan does up with like two little strings and I'm actually kind of tempted, where is it? I'm actually kind of tempted to keep this cardigan. So it's like one of those ones. So you can wear like a cute little bralette underneath. So I might keep the cardigan and chuck the top. Bye. Yes, love this jumper, fits me so well. Yes, my friend made this. Yes, cute oversized tee. 
yes classic zara staple last few bits from the gray section i actually think i'm going to chuck this hoodie it does have a print on the back but i'm just kind of over this it's also quite dirty around the neck so you know i might actually chuck this one in the bin i wear this for work so this is gonna be yes Okay, we're making progress. So we've done all of the colours and all of the greys. I'm just gonna jiggle some of these bits around just so they're more like colour coordinated. Okay, that's that. I feel like that looks really neat and like all together. Last bit, black tops. Yep. Yeah. This is that other annoying Skims dupe I was on about. No. This is a nice Skims dupe that I have, actually fits, looks really nice, so yes. This is cashmere, so yes. Live in this bodysuit, feel like a boss bitch when I wear it. Absolutely yes. I'm gonna keep this one. I had to think about it because it's got a little ripped in, I'll show you. It's actually like this and it has sheer bits through it. It is something different. I'm gonna keep it, even if I just wear it for Halloween, it's gonna stay for another season. This I'm really sad to get rid of, but I think it's going to have to go. It's an M&S cashmere sweater and it's so warm, so cosy. I think it was actually my mum's. I literally love it, but it's got holes in it and it's bobbly. So gotta go. Classic. This also makes the girls look really good. So yes. I feel like you all think I'm actually going to keep this, but it's going to go because this bit on the neckline the seam kind of like flips over so you can always see the stitching and that has always really annoyed me so you gotta go again cute comfy top love this is neon like i can't get rid of you i've had this since uni and i love it so it's staying this is actually really good for the gym um so i might change this to the gym pile although the gym pile is really full so I'm gonna switch it to another area. Oh, okay, it's warm. We're on the last hurdle. We've only got a few bits left. This is my uni hoodie. So obviously I'm not gonna get rid of that. Keep forever. I really love this hoodie. This is like the best hoodie I own. It's from Pretty Little Thing and it has like the perfect waistband. It just fits me so good. Yes. Random hanger. This is a recent purchase. Wish I got it in a bigger size, but it's from Primark. So yeah, I'm gonna keep. Although actually, I'm gonna pop this in the gray section. Oh, I need a drink. This is thirsty work, you know. I don't know how I forgot this. I think it got lost on the floor, but I have my Doll Beauty hoodie, my Doll Beauty team, little hoodie. This is limited edition. I love this, so absolutely. I'm gonna pop it in the like reds and pink section. Oh no, I put it the wrong way. I always have to have the hangers the right way, so it's like, that so everything is facing that way i just i have to have it like that i can't put them in the wrong way there we go we're looking a lot more empty now i have to say i think that's a good thing though it leaves room for more <laughs> okay let's move on to trousers i look so small down here right let's get into it so starting from this side to be honest i don't even think i'm going to take these out just because i'm going to whiz through them blue jeans mum jeans classic these I'm actually really sad to get rid of, but they are Mars the Label leather trousers. I literally love how these make me feel and they're really good quality. Apart from the fact that the actual hook and eye doesn't like do up. It kind of like comes undone and I don't think there's a way to really fix that. So I think I might have to throw these away. These are actually the matching joggers to this first hoodie that I showed you earlier, but they don't fit, so they gotta go. See ya. Cream jeans, yes. Cargos, I feel like my soul isn't over cargos yet, so I'm gonna keep them. Work trousers. These are some knitted trousers that go with a cardigan that I chucked earlier. I feel like because it's a set, I could sell them as a set on Vinted, so I'm gonna get rid of these. Classic cuffed joggers, yes. Again, cargoes, my soul just down over them. They hold too much of a special place in my heart. I'm not really wearing them these days, but I can't get rid of them. These joggers, oh, I'm gonna show you. I literally love them. So I bought them the other day. They're from Kaya the Label. I think they are so nice. I'm gonna be real, I got them off Vinted as well. I didn't even buy them brand new. They came in like really good quality, not a stain on them or anything. And there I am, 
eating my tea in my new Kaiser label joggers and what do I do? I get avocado all down the front. I tried to put stain remover on it and it's still there. So now I have avocado stained Kaiser label joggers. Fuming! But I only just bought them so like I feel like I can't throw them away. Even if they are second hand, a second hand queen. But yeah, I'm gonna keep them for now, I guess. These are like loose cotton black trousers that I got in Manchester, yes. Simple grey leggings, yes. These are work trousers, but to be honest, I never wear them. They've actually still got the label in. I bought them for £13 from H&M. I probably bought them because they were on sale and they just don't fit nice. Like the leg is too tapered and it looks weird, so no. I'm gonna pop them on Vinted. Work trousers, yes green ribbed leggings to a matching green ribbed top that I did earlier. Yes. Black joggers. I've had these for years. Yes. <laughs> Grey wide leg joggers. Yes. Black mum jeans. Yes. Fake tan joggers. Yes. Every week. Yes. Patterned grey work trousers. Lastly, these joggers, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of these. They're just not really my style. They have like these pockets on the side and I think I'm just over these so I'm gonna pop them on Vinted. Well I mean the trouser section is looking a little bit bare now however I feel like we might need to fill this with some gym wear. You'll see why. Last section shoes. I'm just gonna pop this on a time lapse whilst I reorganise these because I know I want every single pair. Ew, it's so dusty. I needed to get a cloth to wipe it. Are we seeing this? I can't believe this was under my clothes. Ew! So this is currently what we're looking like with all the mess, but then da -da, this looks so much neater, so much better, and I've got so much room for more things. The next thing we are going on to is this one. I don't actually know if anything is going to fall out of this one. I don't think it will, but this is what we're dealing with. I feel like it doesn't even look that bad. But this is my gym wear section. This is the one that stresses me out the most. She is full because I have expanded my gym wear collection because I wear it all the time, not necessarily to go to the gym, but I just live in like athleisure wear. I'm in my athleisure wear era. And so she's about out of control. She kind of merges between gym and like fashion, which is where the problem stems from. So that's my gym section. These are my undies sections, so don't look in there. I might actually move all of these back then you cannot see them. These are just socks, but yeah. Oh, that's much more of a comfortable angle. But yeah, basically we are tackling these two. This is just like miscellaneous stuff that doesn't hang up. Things like corsets and stuff like that. It's all so unorganized, it's stressing me out. And the top one is just Corey's workwear stuff, so I'm not gonna touch that. That's probably the most organized one out of all of these, to be honest. So I don't really know. Do you see what I mean? I don't really know the best way to do this one. Like, I think I'm just gonna have to pull it all out, see what I've got, lay it out, see what I wanna keep, don't keep, and then hope for the best. Okay, give me all you've got. It just keeps coming. And that's it. This is what we're working with, so, don't you think that little cupboard stores a lot? Like, that's quite good, isn't it? But I have literally shoved it to the broom. First things first, I can see this doesn't even fit anymore. Like, I've had this since I was like 16. My tatters are not this small anymore. So you can go. This one's quite sad, actually, because it got me through the whole of dance college. So love you, but got to go in the bin. <laughs>
natural guard. These are my old ballet shoes <laughs> that I used to do dance at uni in. I literally cannot get rid of these. I'm gonna have to pop them in like a memory pile. <laughs> Right, so we've cleared it all out and I've got athleisure wear that I can wear like day to day as well as going to the gym but this is more like fashion if you see what I mean. Kind of like what I'm wearing right now. Um, This is actual gym wear like sports bras, stuff that I'm not really gonna wear outside of my house or the gym. This is memory lane. This is like dance clothes, stuff like that. So that's going to probably go in the loft or something. So I'm working with these two piles. I'm thinking I'm going to hang these up and then I'm going to pop these back in that drawer. Okay, it's getting like super late. Well, super late for me anyway. Oh my God, alarms, alarms. See, it is my post on TikTok alarm. Um, <laughs> it is quarter to nine and oh, I still need to just like do so much because... I've got a photo shoot tomorrow with work, which is really exciting, but if you've ever been on a photo shoot, it's draining. It is so draining. Um, so I think I'm just gonna like fold these up, put these back in here. I'm gonna have a really, really quick sort through of the above shelf. I feel like I can't not do that just because I've told you guys it's there now. Um, so I'm going to really quickly go through that, although the camera is also dying. So <sighs> I'm stressed. What have you guys made me do? <laughs> I feel like we've made good progress now. Like the wardrobe is definitely a lot more clear. It's definitely a lot more organized. Um, it's also a bit more color coded. So I love that. And also the shoes, what a difference the shoes made. Sorry, but like, wow. Um, but this is pretty much all back and it already looks so much better so I'm gonna have a really quick sort through I might not even film that if the camera doesn't allow me you guys know we have this problem every single week my camera battery dies um, and I have to like charge it midway um, I do need to get a new camera battery I do need to get a new camera battery and I think I went on payday but it's not payday yet and I'm going on holiday first, so priorities, you know? I will, I promise, because I know it's important. And it breaks up the flow of my videos, you know? Also, I found this blue set, I think it's so nice. So it's a crop top, a top, and some shorts. I can't even remember where I got it from, I don't even know. I think I've washed it that many times, I don't know if it'll be in there. No, it's not in there, but it's just a little three piece, it's really nice. And I totally forgot I had that, so I'm chuffed. And I also found um, the same thing in pink, but it's just a crop top and shorts. So that is the last of that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like quickly. Wow, what a difference. Look at that. So that is it all done. I've literally just folded it in, obviously. Um, so it's nothing amazingly neat, but look at the difference. And now I'm just gonna quickly go through this, pop this back in and we'll be done. Oh my god, just an FYI about this top. How nice is it? It's a pretty little thing and it's this gorgeous corset, but do you see how like structured it is? Like it's so good. It has actual boning in, so it's really, really structured. So I would highly recommend this or pretty little thing. It makes the girls look so good because it's also got padding in. So yeah, would just highly recommend this top. I might hang it up actually. Oh my god, this was my Christmas dress. I literally love this. 
it is so nice such good quality it's from mercy literally the best thing i bought it was so affordable as well so love that for me okay there's literally hardly anything in this one now it's just like a few dresses which i can't hang up and like corsets like this um which i just don't really know how to hang so i just kind of fold them neatly in here ironically this is where a lot of like my nice dresses and skirts go it's a slightly strange place to keep them but i don't know how else to store them and also all of my skirts go in here i just fold them nicely on the top and also my thermals which i wear when i get cold <laughs> gonna shove them at the back because hopefully i won't be needing them okay this is literally the finished result i'm gonna show you now there we go look at the difference oh my god i can actually see in it and breathe and just know what's what now i am bloody chuffed right i think we're done we are literally all there um there is still like a massive pile of clothes on the floor for vintage um so i'm gonna get uploading those they probably won't be up yet. So yeah, go and look at my vintage because there's loads of stuff on the floor. Some of it I haven't even worn and I've added some more stuff as well from the sportswear stuff. So go and check that out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was something slightly different, but hopefully you still liked watching. Having a little nosy around my home. By the way, I am gonna do an updated house tour this year. I'm gonna show you one last little pan of my wardrobes just so you can see what it looks like now. And this is the finished result of this one. I'm chuffed. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I'm going to have a really exciting vlog up because I'm going on holiday with all of my family and my boyfriend. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. And I will see you next week. Bye, babes.